to the Philippine Chamber of Commerce Director of Events of Advocacy, Mr. Romir Libuon. To the Samahan ng mga Pilipino sa Cambodia, Head of Grievance Committee and Board of Trustee Member, Ms. Nina Flor Recafort. Our heartfelt gratitude to the founder and chair of the Teachers Learning Action Guild Cambodia, no other than Mr. J. Ayan Kapungan. <laughs> to our dear MOOC camp completers, excellence in teaching, service awardees, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9.6. Merry Christmas! Tonight is a celebration of our continuous learning adapting technology that comes new and amazing at every wink of our eyes. New skills, advancing our careers, and delivery of quality education on an unprecedented scale. Let me define our theme in a broader sense tonight. Our inherent transfer of knowledge is a motivation that initiates, guides, and maintains goal-oriented behavior. I define motivation as intensity, direction, and persistence, strategy for arousing students' engagement. This is what we call student engagement, and this in itself is a success and strong leadership. Tonight as well, shall highlight the awarding to the recipients of excellence in the delivery of teaching. My warmest congratulations to the awardees. I also would like to express our gratitude to the University of Oregon and the University of Pennsylvania for providing us a free online course for everyone to learn new skills and educational experiences through massive open online course MOOC camp. I would like to welcome you all to our much anticipated celebration of learning and excellence in teaching service awarding ceremony with a quote. He who conquers himself is the mightiest warrior. Have a good evening and enjoy the celebration. Thank you very much, Ms. Fritza Grace de Quito Cabiano. Now let's proceed to the MOOC camp report to be delivered by Mr. J. Ayan Kapungan, founder and chair of the Teachers Learning Action Guild in Cambodia. Hello. Good evening, everyone! Magandang gabi, mayong gabi isa tanan. To the Philippine Chamber of Commerce Director of Events and Advocacy, Mr. Ramir Libuon. To samahan ng mga Pilipino sa Cambodia, Head of Grievance Committee and Board of Trustee Member, Ms. Nina Florica Fort. To our dear MUCAM Completers, Excellence in Teaching Service Awardees, Family and friends, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Can you hear me? Because I cannot hear myself again. <laughs> What's going on with my ears? Today, as the founder of the Teachers Learning Action Guild in Cambodia, I stand before you to share the remarkable success and achievements of the recently concluded Massive Open Online Course, or MOOC Camps, 
that have left an indelible mark on the landscape of education. The University of Pennsylvania's MOOC on English for Science, Engineering, Technology, and Mathematics, or ESTEM, and the University of Oregon's Fostering Student Motivation and Engagement have both been exemplary endeavors that have significantly contributed to the advancement of education on a global scale. The ESTEM MOOC camp generously sponsored by the United States of America's Department of State through the Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs delivered by the University of Pennsylvania witnessed the participation of 30 dedicated individuals who have successfully completed a program from May to June this year. This camp tailored professionals and students in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, aimed to enhance their English language proficiency and communication skills. The impact of this camp goes beyond borders, empowering individuals to effectively communicate their ideas and contribute to the global STEM community. Simultaneously, the Fostering Student Motivation and Engagement MOOC camp supported by the, U the University of Oregon saw a remarkable achievement with 80 completers. This program focused on enhancing teaching methodologies to foster student motivation and engagement. The ripple effect of this camp will undoubtedly be felt in classrooms worldwide. As educators implement innovative techniques, to inspire and engage their students. In the spirit of recognizing excellence, it is my pleasure to announce the recipients of the Excellence in Teaching Service in the Kingdom of Cambodia Awards. A total of 94 educators have been acknowledged for their outstanding commitment to providing quality education and shaping the future through their dedicated service, and that's all of you. Can we all clap our hands? <laughs> Moreover, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to those who will be receiving the 15 outstanding co-facilitators, 16 outstanding MOOC participants, and tonight we will also be recognizing the most active group. Will it be your group? Yes, yes! Your contributions have not only enhanced the learning experience, but have set a benchmark for collaborative learning and engagement. Tonight also, special awards, awards such as the most promising Pecha Kucha presentation, and towards the end of this evening, we will be awarding the Female and Male Best Dress Award. And finally, we will be awarding also the Female and Male Stars of the Night. Are you excited to bring home the bacon? Don't bring home the bacon, bring home the buffet. All right, these accolades celebrate not just academic achievements, but also the spirit of creativity, style, and camaraderie that enrich the learning environment. None of this would have not been possible, would have been possible without the invaluable support of our partners and collaborators. I extend my deepest gratitude to Liberty International School, Ms. Love, the Center for Adaptive and Responsive Education, Ms. Joanne. CIA First International School through Ms. Joyce. And all the CIA agents, we call them. <laughs> Footprints International School Center for Well-Being and Career Excellence. The U.S. Embassy in Manila. The U.S. Department of State the Philippine Embassy in Phnom Penh, and the Department of Education Division of Davao del Norte 
through Dr. Rebecca Casasagot. Mom, if you're watching in our live streaming tonight, thank you very much for all of your help. Your commitment to education and collaboration has been instrumental in the success of these MOOC camps. In conclusion, these MOOC camps have not only imparted knowledge, but have created a global community of learners and educators committed to the pursuit of excellence in education. Remember, guys, there are 20,000 plus of us online in Canvas who did the MOOC camp and the MOOC course. As we celebrate these achievements, let us also look forward to the continued impact and transformation that education can bring to individuals and societies around the world. Before I end, I would like to recognize my fellow MOOCers, teachers, who also joined with me in Bangkok and have passed the recently licensure examination. As I call your name, please come on stage. Let me start off with Exal Bartosilio Banzuela. If you're here, please come on stage. Mary Joy Albarico Bayoneta. Grace Puhayon Bumatan. Jenny Pearl Bata Damasole. Rachel Rose Sukgang Estrebilia. Jesusa Mabini Garcia. She's here. Marion Lisayan Hang. Marion, are you here? Yes, perfect. Maria Catherine Yunis Navejas Maniero. Nancy Cuestas Monden. Chris Patis Pabas. Catriona Manal Pintano. May I ask Miss Liadima to receive the congratulatory gift for Miss Kat? Miss Alex, are you here? Where is Miss Alex? In the toilet, probably. And yours truly. Ms. Jenny Contante, she also passed the licensure exam. Thank you and congratulations to all the participants, awardees, and collaborators for making these MOOC camps a resounding success. One more round of applause, please.
Thank you very much, Mr. J. Ayan Kapungan. And congratulations to our new licensed teachers. I believe a lot of them, or some of them, are recipients of our of one of the programs of TILAG, where they took units of edu uh, education units here through a university in the Philippines. I think Cebu, right? Sorry, I cannot remember the whole the name of the university, but yeah. So anyway, let's move on. At this point, we would like to present to you the massi massive open online, online course completers for the English for STEM um, and fostering student motivation completers. So, where's the list? Okay, let's call on Mr. J. Ayan Kapungan. I'd like to present 30 completers for the English for STEM book course and camp. If you took the camp, please stand. And 80 completers of the Fostering Student Motivation and Engagement, please stand. Congratulations to all of you. You will be receiving your certificates tonight. We will now proceed to the awarding of completers and service awardees. So if we call your name, please go to the side and you come up stage, receive your certificate, have a photo and then exit at this part to the right. May we now ask Sir Romir Libon to come up stage to help us award the certificates. And also Miss Ninja Flory Caport and Miss Lavime Campbell and J. Ayan Kapungan. Amira Sian Gardose, 24 years in teaching service. Miss Easter Marie V. Diquito, 21 years of service. Teresa Amisola Enriquez, 21 years of service. Cynthia Torres Gayoso, 19 years in service. Delicano, 18, 18 years in service. May we ask per table to line up at the left side? Next up, Ernestine A. Diramas, 18 years of service.
We are sorry for that. You can have... We just like to have your name and face synchronized with that on Next up, we have Ms. Teresa Locenario Tangi. 19 years of service. Ms. Ledema Pentano Hutalia, 18 years in teaching service. Edwina A. Paman, 17 years in teaching service. Shara, 17 years in service. Marites and Chang, 16 years in teaching service. Susan E. Pareja, 16 years in teaching service. Chris P. Pabas, 15 years in teaching service. Lovey May Diogenes Campbell, 15 years in teaching service. Roel R. Delicano, 15 years in teaching service. table, please line up at the left side. Shalimore B. Bendy, 15 years in teaching service. Adeline R. Balgoma, 14 years in, in teaching service. J. Ian L. Kapuman, 13 years in teaching service. Joan Imbag Duran, 13 years in service. Mm -hmm. 
Maricel Lasco Lutibio, 13 years in service. Rena Joy Rebosa Timogan, 13 years in service. Lualhati R. Loretta, 12 years in service. Zenaida M. Contante, 12 years in teaching service. Bernard T. Thayem, 11 years in teaching service. Feldonia P. Dot, 11 years in teaching service. Shirley D. Pulido, 11 years in teaching service. Nancy C. Monden, 10 years in teaching service. Shama Faith B. Knight, 10 years in teaching service. Tak Sonny, 10 years in teaching service. Ethel P. Rillian, nine years in teaching service. Evangeline Castro Belleza. Nine years in teaching service.
goodness and service. Mila Flor Olarte Mateo, nine years in service. Randy M. Gorosin, nine years in service. forward a little bit. We can come forward. Thank you very much. Ronald C. Contante, nine years in service. Rowena Kausapen Sodela, nine years in service. Cecil Cedro Boyles. Eight years in service. Eric Christopher and Koyoka, eight years in service. Joan G. Koyoka, eight years in service. Joe Rajiv Besai Mapa, eight years in service. Coming fans. Lolita Amorao Morales, eight years in service. Marciano Dinamling Buyukan, eight years in service. Sorry, Marciana Dinamling Buyukan, eight years in service. Marife Miwag Bitanga. Eight years in service.
Rosalea Pentano Hotalia, eight years in service. Fritza Grace De Quito Gabiano, seven years in service. Table seven, we can start preparing. Grace. P. Bumatan, seven years in service. Joey Bob P. Bostamante, seven years in service. Joy Toginay Dumaligan, seven years in service. Lenilin C. Copino, seven years in service. Maria Lisa C. De Leon. Seven years in service. Emmy B. Malote. Seven years in service. Mary Rose Pura Gibat, seven years in service. Anna Marie M. Rivera, six years in service. Arnel S. Miliari, six years in service. Jenny Pearl Damasole, six years in service. Christine Faith Epino Canoy, six years in service.
Maria Eloisa Abuhen, six years in service. Not here, okay. Marlene G. Asuncion, six years in service. Casilan, five years in service. Leia Rose Z. Hiponia, five years in service. Lourdes P. Aroco, five years in service. Mary Lynn G. Labrague, five years in service. years in service. Tara Meng Chu, five years in service. Four years in service. Doro, four years in service. Table eight and table nine, please prepare. Nilda I. Ramos, four years in service. Four years in service. Table 10. 10 and 11, please prepare. Romark I. Guyon. Four years in service. Three years in service. Lisa D. Bugtong, three years in service.
Mary Joy A. Bayoneta, three years in service. Jamie M. Laduan, two years in service. Laarne R. Solis, two years in service. Perlita Ngayodan Mayokdan, two years in service. Raya May S. Knight, two years in service. Congrats, Ethan. Congrats, Ethan. No. Sheila Marie Almorfe, two years in service. Australia, two years in service. Amelita C. Wansi, one year in service. IVT Pahulas, one year in service. Jesusa Mabini Garcia, one year in service. Jocelyn Morales Bolanade, one year in service. <music> Kenneth Brian M. Bangkud, distinction. Luik Samnang, distinction. Mary Jean A. Tiaozon, PhD DPA, distinction.
Minoya Sreisro Govender, Distinction. Susan L. Sabilio, Ph.D., Distinction. Tak Sopon, Distinction. Distinction. Lara Jean C. Copino. Distinction. Esmeralda C. Villalon, Distinction. Fremelin Langbayan. Bond me one year in service. Nilda I. Ramos. Miss Nilda, Maria Eloisa Abojen, Abohen. Queenie Ferdeline Bagongan.
Congratulations again, everyone. Congratulations to all of us. Let us now proceed to the ambassador's message. Her Excellency Maria Amelita C. Aquino, the ambassador of the Philippines to Cambodia. Though, unfortunately, she's not here with, because of prior engagements, we have her message recorded. speaker tonight. I was looking forward to meeting you all personally. Excited na nga ako sa aking black and gold na attire. But then, I was informed that uh, there is another activity that would require my personal presence. So, uh, sa video ko na lang ho, kayo ma magigreet. And congratulations to all of you, those who completed the massive online courses and camps on English for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics conducted by the University of Pennsylvania and on the fostering student motivation and engagement offered by the University of Oregon. Tonight will also be an opportunity to give recognition to Filipino teachers here in Cambodia for their years of service in the teaching profession in this wonderful country. Congratulations po to all of you. I remember when I was a young, very young student, we were asked to go on stage in the auditorium and complete the praise, when I grow up, I want to be. Ang nangyari ho, most of us said, when I grow up, I want to be a teacher. And that shows the recognition and the admiration as well as the love of us as young students to our teachers who are considered as second parents when we are outside our home. Teaching is not just a job. It is a noble and honorable vocation. At I can say with certainty that Filipino teachers embody what a teacher should be, nurturing and caring, imparting not just knowledge, but also values and character. Filipino teachers don't just teach, they educate. As Albert Einstein said, Education is not the learning of facts, but it's training of minds to think. It is not just to impart concepts and facts, but to train the mind to think, to inspire, to motivate, and in a way to transform lives. Teachers have a huge responsibility as they are entrusted with the care and development of the youth from the time they are a child until they reach adulthood. You, my dear teachers, play an important role not just in educating the youth but also in preparing them to face life outside the cl classroom and be good citizens of their country. Teachers not only guide, support, and listen to students, but also motivate and inspire them to realize their potentials and reach their dreams. I commend you for your effort and time you have dedicated in improving and updating your professional capabilities, giving truism to the saying that learning is a lifelong process. With your busy schedule, you have made time to take the mock courses, not just for your own benefit, but to enable you to use the learnings to be even better than you already are. From what I have gathered, yung, pag -sali, yung pagkakaroon yun ng mock was your own initiative, your proactive initiative to seek more knowledge. 
In Cambodia, Filipino teachers are highly regarded and you have endeared yourselves not only to your students but to school authorities and to your colleagues. Officials I have met have said that they are very confident of the competence and capability of Filipino teachers. Education is an important aspect of our people-to-people -people relations with our teachers, with you our teachers, being one of our linkages to the youth and to the future leaders of Cambodia. Going back to what I said earlier, when we were asked what we want to be when we grow up, those in that class eventually became engineers who build roads and bridges, architects who designed homes, doctors who healed the sick, lawyers who seek justice, accountants who ensure that businesses are in order, and scientists who discovered new technologies. While none of those young children turned out to be teachers, it is the teachers who made them what they are. For me, I am who I am not only because of my teachers, but also because my mother is a public school teacher. Thank you, dear teachers, for your sacrifices, for your guidance, for your support. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, our um, Honorable Ambassador Maria Amelita Aquino, for that very inspiring message. Um, she's always been very supportive of the Filipino community, and we are a little bit sad because she'll be moving on. Uh, she, she will be retiring, so... We really wish that she would be here tonight, but unfortunately, uh, she couldn't make it. On to the next part of our program. We would like to invite Ma Maria Teresa Enriquez, our porcelain awardee, porcelain, to give us her service, her speech. Porcelain. Hello, yes. <laughs> From Jolly to Yogurt, Mr. Romir Liboon, Philcom board member, Ms. Nindia Ricafort, Samapi board member, Mr. J. Ayan Kapungan, our godfather, founder and chair of TILAG, steering committee members, Miss Lavi, Miss Jean, MOOC completers, recipient of the Excellence in Teaching Service Award, ladies and gentlemen, magandang gabi, bayan. <laughs> I am Maria Teresa Amisola Enriquez from Ligaspi, Albay, Philippines. I start Right after graduation in 1982, I obtained two degrees, a bachelor's degree and marriage degree. <laughs> so my eldest son is now 40 years old. So I got married when I was 21. Maagang lumandi. Anyway, I belong to a family of teachers from my father who is a retired uh, regional trial court judge, my mother, who is also a teacher and the dean of the College of Art and Sciences, and I started my teaching career in Bicol University, Legazpi City, Albay, and I opted for optional retirement when uh, 21 years. So 21 plus 21 in Cambodia, Pompiang, 42. Yo, bigo. So I'm 42 years now in the teaching uh, profession, and I'm 62 years old. Wow, wonderful, wow. 
So, na-inspired ko kayo sa age ko, di ba? Uhuy! So, 62, um, with a, you know, I have a, an 8-year-old granddaughter who is in Japan. Anyway, wag na tayong maano sa personal ko, but I joined, <laughs> I joined TLAG in <laughs> March 2018. Okay, when it started, I was given the opportunity to be a COFASI in Shimrip Sub Camp one. We had two subcamps in Shimrip, and I'm glad to see my uh, colleagues, my uh, classmates in Shimrip. Welcome to Phnom Penh. I stayed in Shimrip for 15 years. We moved, my family moved to Phnom Penh in 2020. So, um, how did Tilag help me? It helped me to gain more friends, um, expand my networking. And I think uh, on top of it is like I was able to help and became a mentor to many of my friends. So in school, I introduced myself as Mama. Mama, why? Madame Maria, because I'm Maria Teresa. And Mama as their second mom in school. So this is, my advocacy in teaching is learning with fun. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of my group in this course. We call ourselves the Jolly G. Yoo-hoo! Group three, Jolly G, Guru, the Jolly Guru. We are really all jolly. Uh, and we always make fun in our meetups. Okay, so now 21 years in Cambodia was not a joke. All of us, we have our own stories to tell, good or bad, happy or sad. Um, being in service is only a number. It doesn't matter whether five, 10, 20, but the thing is, what have you done and what have you accomplished in Cambodia? So, teachers are made and teachers are born. So which do you belong? Are you made or are you born? So maybe in my case, I was born to become a teacher. And my goal and job is not only to teach, but to train and to inspire students. Because uh, as mentioned by Amba, teaching is a uh, the, mo the oldest profession, it's supposed to be a vocation, but to some, it's a profession. You practice your degree. But for me, okay, one more thing I wish I remember. Why, why did I go to Cambodia? I wanted to change career. I wanted to stop being a teacher. But unfortunately, the calling was here. So, um, I can say that my teaching is a calling, it's a vocation. So for all of you, new, old, my advice is just continue, persevere, um, develop your talents and skills, and teach by your heart and love. So to all the completers, the awardees, and everyone here tonight, congratulations and advance Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mama. Um, new, new teachers, were you asked the question, how long will you stay in Cambodia? What was your answer? I remember